All right, guys, how's it going? We're jumping on the interstate right now, about to head down to the station. And you probably care, why is there a Toyota symbol on my on my steering wheel? Well, check it out, guys. We are in a Toyota 4x4 Land Cruiser. I better slow it down as I can't see in front of me. And then I got a Mobile Fire Attack Command Center. This is this is meant for, it's like an adventure trailer. We mudded with it before, done a lot of crazy stuff with it. And this is going to be whenever we have to go out for forest fires and stuff like that. That's how we're going to bring all of our supplies, like communication supplies, and then everything like for the five fighters. That guy needs in the middle of the road. But we're heading down to the fire station now. We have, I just picked this up, and we had an extra budget from the, uh, from, from the city, from the mayor. And so I asked for this unit, especially because we've been getting more and more reports of forest fires, like getting closer and closer. They aren't technically in our region to like take care of and for us to activate our forces and go out and try and stop the fire. But one is getting really, really close. So in the next like few days here, it could get within our region where we have to act on it. So it's good that I picked this up just in time. There we go. We are flossing down the interstate. It's such a cool little setup. Let me know what you guys think. We got it lifted, or I got the tow package on it, and then I could have done a flatbed. I could have done, like, more railing, but I, I didn't want too much of a bed. I wasn't really going to use the bed too often because I knew I, we, we had the attic trailer, so pretty, pretty cool. We have, like, all the... It's just such a cool little off-road uh, vehicle. I got the off-road tires because I know we're going to be going off-roading, so... Uh, here we go. We're pulling in. There we go. The station. I'm the only one at the station today. It should be a slower day. The, uh, what do you call it? The, I'm drawing a blank, but the, the, uh, the fire likeliness rating, whatever you call it, is, is much lower today. So hopefully we don't have anything, um, too crazy happen. Of course, like house fires happen, uh, fairly often, but there shouldn't be anything extra like in our national parks, just, um, a few miles away and stuff like that so there we go we'll park this i think that's where we'll keep it for now looks good and then we'll park this guy here so we'll be able to get all of our units all of our engines out of here just fine yeah, i'm the only one here today showed up early this morning and then i i uh i actually got an uber uber drive i called an uber and then he drove me to go pick this up he just dropped me off uh and then i drove this back so Cool, check it out. We have our logo on the side. Wild Wildland Fire. FS19. There's our logo. The ADAC. Same thing. Mobile Command. Same logo. So it matches. And then I got Scarlet Red for the color. So it looks really, really good. Matches everything. And th that's so cool. So we are going to hang out here for a few days. And if anything happen happens, I'll tune in for you guys. I'll, I have a shift. I have an 18-hour shift right now. And then CJ and Bolt are going to take uh, the rest of the shift the following day. And then I'll come back. And I have, a, I think, another 18 or a 24-hour shift. So we'll see. But we've got a few more. We have some pretty cool things added to the shop as well. Besides, obviously, we brought down the attic. And, oh, no, don't shut it. I don't know who left this hanging here. But bring that back in. We don't want the door to wreck it. There we go. We have a few. I brought. I got a few more oxygen tanks. For us and then um what else did i get i bought a new demolition saw so in case we ever need to go through like doors or garage doors or something that like the axe or the chainsaw wouldn't be like preferable in it's it's it, they're like concrete saws but this one's a little little beefier so bought a new one of that there's something else i was gonna say that we picked up but that's pretty much it we're all set we have the steel chainsaws there our demo saws are downstairs but the place is about in work in order now and yeah, today I'm by myself, just going to be cleaning up a few things. Um, I was thinking I was going to clean the interior of one of our social, uh, our recovery, recovery units. There we go. So I'll tune in with you guys if anything happens this shift. Otherwise, I'll, I won't probably see you till next time. So I'll just be hanging out here. Oh no, I just woke up. I was sleeping. I get all my stuff on. It looks like the alarms are going off. All right, I don't know what this is about. All right, we're set. Here, don't take the stairs. What am I doing? Jump down. Let's check in. I need to get a report of what's going on. All right. It looks like it's not a house fire or anything in town. It's actually, I just got a call from another fire uh, department. I wasn't, and I was asleep and I accidentally fell asleep and then the alarms went off, but it's a forest fire that's came into our region. So what I'm going to do, let's see, I'm by myself. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. We're going to get the Toyota. Thank goodness I have it. And I got it for this reason. 
All right, let's get the lights going. I mean, I don't need them on right now. We'll get hooked up here. I actually probably won't even use the lights. Driving down there, it's uh, it's a forest fire. We're just gonna get down there, and they somehow they were able to activate my alarms in the station to wake me up, and and then I woke up and okay, the train's coming. We need to beat it. Then I woke up, but I wasn't answering my phone. Okay, here we go. We're gonna beat. There we go. All right, so we gotta jump on the interstate. It is north of uh, of where I'm at, Central California. So we gotta go north up to one of the bigger national parks that was caught on fire. And then it's been coming south and south. So officially, it's in our region. I'm going to be taking this unit up. I don't know if they have one of these there. So this might come in handy. And then there'll be a bunch of other fire trucks and stuff uh, there as well. So we'll see what we can get into. Forest fire. Never have dealt with this before. So I'm kind of nervous. And we are on our way. It's going to be... It's about two... It's about an hour 30 away. If I drive fast, we could probably make it in an hour. I won't drive too fast, but official in our region we're going to fight at boys and we'll get flossing down here the toyota's first first time on duty here today check it out we have the headlight oh yeah dude this thing's a beast i should probably turn those off so we don't blind other people but i will see you guys once we get there all right guys change of plans i am i'm actually like 20 30 minutes away from the forest fire about an hour into my trip i got a call from uh like the regional fire chief of like central california and we this isn't good so i mean it's not a big deal but we had to branch off so we aren't going to the forest fire today we have a structure fire a a home at the top of this mountain i've never been here i guess it's called grizzly mountain that's what like the map was and stuff i can actually probably i can go ahead and turn off is this the right way all right i think we're good so i can turn off my hazards we are now like in mountain country we're on back roads good thing i have my off-road tires and I got a call from the fire. There's guys working it right now. The structure fire. It's a two-story building. Um, it's a home, home fire, structure fire, same thing. But we are heading up now. It's it's gonna take me a bit to get there, and now it's finally morning time. So we got yeah, we got dispatched over here instead of fighting the forest fire, which I was on my way. So this is I'm gonna be able to help these guys, and I'm really gonna be testing out this Toyota here on my climb up this mountain i can't believe a fire engine made it up here but they had to make it up here so i'm on my way now this is uh they, they said it's like way up at the top of this mountain so i have a bit of a ways to go but we are moving I should probably slow down just a bit there we go oh no they did not tell me about this bridge what is this all right let me get out what is this i'm not Okay, it actually looks like they, like, cemented poles into the side of the mountain. What the heck? Alright, this is sketch, but if anything's gonna make it across, this guy is. Alright, let's, let's, let's square up here. Alright, that feels right. Nice and easy, nice and straight. Good thing that the ADX wheel width is a bit wider. Or it's, oh my, it's quite a bit wider than the Toyota's. Oh, we're about to cut. We're we're about to come off on this side. All right, there we go. We're clean. We're we're good. So yeah, we're fighting this fire instead of the forest fire, which I wanted to get to the forest fire. But this is a huge threat of a forest fire too. This is a structure fire on a mountain, not a super dry uh, region where we're at right now. Uh, this region in particular, but where I was going was much drier than this. But still a risk of starting a, a much larger forest fire than uh the fires happening right now so it's just up here a bit this is we're taking the toyota four by four land cruiser we are cruising the, the land for sure this thing the best setup ever probably the best trail i could go on to climb all the way up here so this is actually turned out pretty good uh setup that i purchased this at this time so there we go we're heading up Structure fire should be right up here. There we go. They're already on scene. All right, there it is, guys. We're going to throw our hazard or our lights on just to let everybody know we got here. All right, I think I'll park right here. All right, let's get our hoses. This isn't good, boys. All right, see if I can help them. I'm going to get a third line in here. All right, I think they're inside fighting it probably upstairs. I need to get in contact with them. I think it was a two-man crew. The, the crews are pretty spread thin here, especially during uh, forest fire season. 
There we go. Can we get inside? Come on, baby. All right, I'm gonna step out. That's too hot. I think they're upstairs. I'm actually not too sure. Yeah, they are upstairs. I see. I can see through the window. They're up there. All right, I'm gonna stay out here. Fight it. It looks like most of it is exterior or on the chimney. Also, interior through this window. I'm getting pretty good shots on them. We'll stay on it here. The structure fire isn't out of control just yet. It hasn't expanded to the rest of the building. The back porch. Actually, let me kind of... I want to stay... Stay on here. All right. It is expanding to another bedroom. All right. Can I get in this way? All right. I don't have enough hose. I don't have... I can't get the third line around. There's not enough room. All right. Let's stay on it over here. I think we'll be good, but we need to keep... I need to talk to him. I might get back inside here. I right, got my hose. There we go. I'm going to hang out here for a bit. Got my oxygen in. One thing I don't want to make sure... I want to make sure it doesn't climb to the... Like the back porch, the sunroom area. That would not be good. Alright, let's go back out here. I think I was doing the most damage right here. Alright, the fire is starting to calm down a little bit. I feel like we're starting to put some... Some work down on it, but those guys upstairs are getting it taken care of upstairs. I just need to focus on here. Looks like it's mostly from the chimney, but I've been here for about five minutes now, continuously fighting the structure fire, and I'm a little worried about them being upstairs. I, I, I kind of told them to come down just because I don't think it's too much up there right now. It's more on the side of this house, but I think they're coming down. All right, there we go. It's really calmed down. I'm, I'm pretty much just going to sit here and keep hitting this cool off this siding for sure okay there is like no siding left and the chimney's like falling apart but i at least just want to silk everything down nice and good but yeah the fire's fire's mostly out those guys are uh, are just cleaning up upstairs making sure there's no attic fire or it hasn't reached up into the attic where like we can't see it initially and if we were to leave that would be bad if it like re sparked on fire but i also sprayed a perimeter line here it, I'm pretty much drenched all this vegetation. Now, everything is green around here, like I said. Everything's pretty wet. It's not too dry um, in this region, but just, like, 45 minutes, and there's a raging forest fire from here um, on much drier land. All right, so I'm just about to, to kink my hose, turn her off here, and we should be good. There we go. But there it is. We this guy, Those guys are still upstairs cleaning. I want to check the garage and everything. Make sure everything's good here. No damage. All right, then there's really no damage besides, like, just a bunch of smoke. This is what I was worried about. It looked like I didn't want to get it. I guess this is the kitchen. I didn't want the fire to spread back here. A lot more real estate for it to grow and then also into the garage. Um, I didn't know if you had, like, propane tanks or gasoline or other things that would that would not be fun. But there we go. That is, that's knocked out. So we saved this house at the least. About 60% of it is saved other oh, forty percent is pretty uh, pretty burnt, but we're gonna head back to that forest fire with this guy. I gotta climb back down the mountain. I still have like forty minutes, forty-five minute drive there, probably way longer, because I'm. It does. I mean, it's slow for me to get back onto the interstate. I think I'm about twenty-five minutes away, and then maybe forty minutes from there. So, I still have a ways to go. All of those guys, local guys, go ahead, take care of the residents, make sure everybody is like okay. And then, like, get them back. I don't know. Um, actually, nobody... No vehicles were there. I guess I didn't even know the situation. That's kind of weird, but... That's a pretty crazy firefight. And it, at the top of a mountain... That's crazy, but there was a threat. There was a threat of forest fire, so... I wanted to, for sure, um, back those guys up. And they called for backup. And I was the closest unit to them, so I was the first one to get there. Hopefully... Oh, wait. I just thought about this. There's probably... Wait a second. There's probably other people coming up this right now. Or there possibly could be. So I actually kind of want to... Okay, I should... All right. Should be good for that meantime. I don't want to get caught on that bridge with somebody else. There's no way for us to turn around. So I'm going to... I don't know how we're going to do it. If somebody comes up that road right now, say like a big engine comes up and they were just late. How is somebody going to turn around? I don't know. All right, here we go again. A little easier coming down than up. Dude, if that attic would just go, I would just open up this driver's side door and just jump out right away. The thing would be gone. Look at down there. At least there's water. 
Oh wait, no there's not. It's just rocks. I thought it was all water. There we go. We're heading down now, but that was a pretty successful day. I have much more ahead of me here coming up at this forest fire. But this setup came so in handy. I can't believe they got that engine up there. That was pretty spectacular. I would have loved to watch them cross those wood. There, It's wood, but it's mo there's like metal concrete post underneath. So it's much stronger than like it looks. It actually has like reinforcement, but I don't know why they didn't make it like a whole entire bridge. Not just too little where you can put two tires on. So there we go. Now we're able to kind of start getting out of here. Are picking up the speed a bit i think it's around here to get back to the interstate but it's gonna be dirt roads pretty much for a while but we're gonna get the our attic pretty dirty and so that that mountain was called black mountain uh or no grizzly mountain not black mountain i've been to black mountain a pretty cool mountain it wasn't as big as i thought we got up there pretty quick took about five minutes to shoot up there um not like too bad of a drive and it, i thought it was pretty crazy how if somebody owned a house up there i don't know if they're renting it but anyway there was a house up there which was pretty crazy i wonder how much the thing's worth how oh, oh my god yeah how how did they get up there to build the house was the road better back then i don't know if there that's been like wind erosion and in that mountainside is coming off that's where the road is what it is but i couldn't imagine getting supplies for the house up there think about all the roof materials all the wood materials for just the frame of the house let alone like all the windows and in every everything that goes into building a house so that's pretty crazy we are uh we're heading down now but guys hopefully you enjoyed today's episode i gotta go fight this forest fire but that's gonna wrap it up here today thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and have a great weekend guys thanks for watching